What's up guys, it's Tommy Cleaves for Austin Underground and I am here at South by Southwest in an alley with small pools. How are you guys doing? Good, good afternoon Tommy, how are you? Awesome. Uh, so yeah. you're playing several shows at South by Southwest. Correct. Uh, and you got a couple under your belt already. Yeah. How have they been going? Uh, the first one was a little rough but it came together and the second one was better. Good deal, yeah. good deal. Why was the first one a little rough if you care to elaborate? You know, it's a little tough. You've got 15 minutes to kind of take the other band's equipment off the stage, put all yours in, plug yeah. 50,000 things in, hope it all works out, and 50% yeah. of it doesn't. So, you know, figure it out by the third or fourth song. Yeah, yeah I heard at the third song it started sounding good. Yeah. By the third song we were good. Yeah. Good deal, good deal. Uh, so let's talk Love Tap. It's your new album. You've been working really hard on it. it you did an early drop on Spotify, mm -hmm. and it's out on iTunes next week. Yep. Uh, how's it feel to have your first full-length album out? It's pretty incredible. It's just it's a good feeling to see it finally out in the world and seeing people's responses and hearing positive feedback, which is always nice. So yeah, it's it's a it's been a nice nice feeling. Very cool. So do you have a favorite song to play live off of it? Um, there's still a few that we need to uh, you know get tight at and play for the tour. Um, we like American Love a lot. That's a fun one live. That's the first one, and uh, I don't know. I guess everyone has their own kind of favorites. I like American Love. I'll go with that. One. I'm looking forward to playing the title track "Love Tab" once we can figure out the live arrangement for it. I think it'll be pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, so, like I kind of mentioned, you're here at South by Southwest all week, and you're coming back to Austin to play 40 Acres Fest at the university, uh, which we're super pumped for. I can't yeah, wait for that. Yeah, uh, so you're not strangers to Austin anymore. You're kind of like honorary Austinites. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite part? <laughs> Very cool. Uh, what's your favorite part about playing shows in Austin? You can see Big Tony. Yeah. yeah. Big we do have Big Tony. That's just our big friend. <laughs> uh, He's got this like crazy swag to him where he just like pretends we're like a boy band that he bodyguards and we just go into any place no matter what. So we got Tony. <laughs> Very cool. So have you experienced a lot of uh, people recognizing you on the streets since you've been here or has it been pretty uh, chill? Do, do you need? I think the same kind of group of people have been following us around. So it <laughs> seems like there are, but I think they're just all the same people. <laughs> We actually pay them to go around and say hi to us so that we feel good about it. Yeah, we're nice. running out of money. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what did you guys do before you were Small Pools and how did you become a band? Um, like right before I was parking cars in Los Angeles. I had just moved there and I'd been doing that for like a year just to pay bills obviously. And um, when we started writing songs, I in this building, it's this really rich building. Bruce Willis lived there, Sophia Vergara lived there, so I'm like parking these Lamborghinis and BMWs and stuff. There was a model unit that was like furnished by Fendi. It was like millions of dollars of crap in there. And uh, I would like get off a shift at 11 p.m. and go there and write stuff on their grand piano and then like saunter down for my 7 a.m. shift. So that was kind of a cool situation to have. I think that helped in the process. So did you know these guys at that time or did you meet them along the way? Um, I might not have, no, I did know them. Yeah, 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 I did. I, I had the job for a while before meeting the Bowman over there. Well, you knew me. I knew Mike, we moved together, then I got the job. Then it took maybe a year of like, just getting our feet grounded and figuring out what music we wanted to play, I guess. So now you're parking your own Ferraris and Lamborghinis, right? Yeah, I don't have a car. <laughs> Mike's car has a broken window and it barely started yeah, before we it, left. It actually died in the middle of the street the other day. Phil and I had to push it into a, a driveway. Yeah. Very nice. M maybe in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> what do you miss most about your pre-small pools days? Just being able to go to the grocery store and like pick out an orange without being mobbed mm. by. Cr <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't. <laughs> Living like normal people. <laughs> well, have I, you seen a lot I like change? Life better. Um, right now, I don't have to park cars anymore, so that's cool. I do. Yeah, what's on? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is it? Who's above? Okay. <laughs> you good? You good? I think so. Okay, cool. I felt cool. something on me. I didn't Saw know if you were just like. He's neck. just a fan, <laughs> but like, on me. Or <laughs> You're looking out. I'm trying to think. What? What? I do don't I miss, miss anything. <laughs> My life was so crappy. Like, like I, he was parking cars. I was serving tables at Bubba Gump's, um, driving 
to work every day and coming home not not making much money and then he'd get like big tips from like celebrities and I'd be like, are you kidding me? Well, actually, there's a no tipping p policy at the building because it's a residency and mm. homeowners don't feel want to feel obligated to yeah. tip every time. But the Christmas envelopes were insane. <laughs> oh, nice. What about you? Get a little younger. Okay. Yeah, uh, get, get, getting some gray hairs in now. Yeah. A little bit. yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you guys? What did you do before small pools? Uh, I was working for a clothing brand called Holden. That's actually why I moved down to LA and then met these guys literally four weeks after I moved there. So kind of all happened really fast. So I ended up leaving that job fairly soon after I moved to LA. So uh, I was working at home doing graphic design stuff, just working for a bunch of random different companies and places. So. Very cool. So alternatively, what is your favorite part if you had to choose about being in a band? Favorite part about being in a band? Um, I like I like people enjoying themselves from what we're doing on stage. It's nice to be able to make people happy. Everyone's always well, not everyone, but like a few people today were like, "Oh my God, your music makes me so happy," and that's I'm glad. So that's the best part. <laughs> cool. I hope that their happiness will uh, evolve into them making other people happy, you know? So I guess just being able to like be on stage and do something that we enjoy and it affecting people hopefully positively, you know? Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun, you know? Very cool. What about you guys? Uh, yeah, it's, it's just always fun to see people singing along and bobbing their heads and genu genuinely being excited about being there, so. It's yes, nice. it's always cool to you know, especially when we play a newer song that may, isn't out yet and people don't know as well. See, kind of by the second or third chorus, people start to sing along. It means it's really kind of catching them and impacting them. So it's a cool thing. Cool. Uh, so one last question for you guys: sure. um, What are you looking forward to in the future? I know you have a North American headlining tour. You're about to start. Uh, so what's next for Small Pools? Uh, we all want to go to Japan. Yeah. Our our CD is out there in Tower Records. I don't know how it's doing, I don't know if anyone cares, but I've seen the Japanese written language over our faces, so I know something's happening. Don't buy this album. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I guess, I mean, finally getting, I mean, the album's now on Spotify, but finally just getting it in the world um, has been pretty big for us. Like, the past year and a half, it's just been like, when the album's out, things are going to be like this, and, and it just like, it's always this thing, it's like, when the album's out, but now it's like, the album's actually coming out, and it's, I'm excited to live in a world where... Our album's out. I don't know. It just feels good. It's like a new chapter coming. Yeah, a new chapter for us. So it will be, um, not that other people will be excited to live in that world, but I'm excited to be there, you know? So. Very cool. about you guys? Um, I forgot the question. <laughs> what's next? What's, oh, what's next? Yeah, yeah touring. Um, hopefully do some uh, more global stuff and get the album out in other countries and uh, take over the world. World domination, Wild definitely. There yeah. yeah. There it is. World domination, sex for small pools. Thank you guys so much for taking Enjoy the time the out yeah. to talk to us. Good luck with the rest of your shows, and we'll see you around. Yeah. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you.